What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're just going to go over how to change the fonts in the app. So you can see these fonts are a bit different than the default and you can it'll change everywhere in the app. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go to our pubspec.yaml and add a new package, which is Google Fonts. Um, I'm going to be using version 0.3.2. That's the current version right now. So just go ahead and add that in and then packages get that. And then once we have that, it's actually pretty simple to start using the Google fonts. All you have to do is import the package into the file that you want. So on this page right here, which is the in the views, this is the home view, I believe. So we can add that package here, which is the Google fonts. And then really all you need to do is find where you have a text widget. So if we find where we have our title text widget here, uh, which is right down here, text title. Um, you go to where the style is, which this is uh, where this style element is. And actually we don't need these news here. But anyway, you go to where the style is and then instead of having a text style, you can just do a Google fonts and then choose your font. So if you just put the dot, you'll see there's a bunch of fonts that pop up. So you could just choose any random one and hit save. And as you hot reload it, you'll notice the fonts are changed for the title. So you might be thinking there's quite a, little, a lot of fonts here and you're not quite sure which one you want to use. So these are all just Google fonts. So if you go to fonts.google.com, which uh, let's see, is right here, you can see all the fonts that they have that you would be able to access with this widget now. So for instance, if you wanted to see what Mexico City would look like, you can actually just type it in here. And then you can go through and look at which font you think looks nicest. So um, I don't know. Let's try this one because it's very different looking. So it's you just take this name here, which I don't even know how to pronounce say more one maybe just go back in here and start typing that font out which i'll just do the google fonts again which sey more one is right here so then if you save that and the hot reload you'll see it makes your font that say more one so that's a little bit too big for that font so we're gonna have to shrink our size down to maybe 15 pixels or 15 font size that's too small so we could do 20 and I have talked about in the past how to make this a uh, basically how to make this text shrink if it gets too large so you go back and check out those videos to see how to do that I'm not gonna do that now um, but yeah you can see these fonts are updating so now you might be thinking like you want to just do all of the fonts in your app so if you notice there's like quite a bit of this is all just the generic font and you want to change all this to be just the same font. Um, and it definitely isn't, you definitely don't want to have to go through every text field and, you know, add that font there. So the way you can achieve this is with themes. So themes are, we actually already have a theme in our app. Every app has a theme to begin with. And this happens actually in the main dot dart. So you'll see right here, we have theme data. And the only thing we have set right now is the color. So that's the green color there. So if we were to, for instance, change this to blue and save it, now all of the all of the like details in our app that used to be green are now blue. So, so that's a quick way to do that. But you can also here set the um, text theme. So we can do that real quick with text theme and then give the text theme here. And then there's actually various um, different options of the text that you can set. But right now we're just going to do the body one. Um, and we're going to set that to the Google font of, uh, let's see, we could do Oswald. Uh, and then you can also set a font size here. So we can do 14. And then when you save that, you'll notice these are all changed. All of the other text is changed. Um, you will notice that the the title here did not change and that's because we're basically this theme data is going to be the base level and everything can be over anything that's set specifically will be overridden so another example is like you can look in here 
Uh, you'll see all this text is different. It looks kind of similar to our original text. So let's actually use bitter because it's very, I think it's much different looking. So, so you can see everything is, is set to that text now. Um, if you were to, just like I was saying with the override for the text, um, like we're doing right here, basically this title is is overriding our theme data to use that um, to use that text that we or that font rather that we set right here. So uh, just like just like how that's working, the size is the same thing. So 14 is our base size, but you'll notice not all of these got changed to a 14 size font, and that's because all all or most of these are specified as having a font size. So if we put this as something like 30, you can see these few things that enlarge to 30 do not actually have a specific font size set for them. So they're inheriting this 14 font size. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, how you can set all that up with the fonts and the themes all linked to below. There's a few other things you could do with the themes. Um, this, I believe, is how you would get light mode and dark mode um, configured in your app. And you can also set it up so that the user basically passes this color value as a variable. Um, and you could maybe do that in their profile. If you guys are interested in seeing those specific things, uh, comment below and potentially I'll make a video about those. But, but yeah, this is, uh, is very powerful. It's I mean, if you come from any sort of web development background, this is kind of like... Uh, almost like CSS for your app, um, at least at least some parts of it. Um, yeah, check the links below if you're interested in learning more about these themes, but uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.